Sonic Frontiers Prologue Convergence With Sonic on Tails' plane again, Tails tells him that Amy said she'd meet them on the island ahead, and she's fighting robots while talking in an uncharacteristically boastful way like she's Sonic or Knuckles. Or maybe it seems unlike her because it's been so long since I saw her fight. It seems like the writer thinks it makes her cool automatically to have her talk like this, but it doesn't. You have to make her do something especially impressive. Sonic asks if she saved one for him, and she apologizes. So far, this is a really boring, uninspired part of the story, until Tails uses a wrench to loosen a bolt on one of Eggman's machines for once. But it doesn't seem to matter, because it doesn't change the fact that the machine's still throwing fireballs. Sonic points out that he's heard Eggman's specific lines before, which makes me wonder if it's a fake Eggman from Eggman himself while he's busy. At least that's intriguing because he barely does that. So far, there's no real excuse to the fight lasting this long because it's mostly boring old ideas and we know none of them are going to even get injured. I like that Amy uses strategy telling Tails to take out the front legs with her. That's what happens when you use a machine with legs. Why does he even bother with them on giant machines? Although you'd think after all of the years of experience Sonic's had fighting his machines, he would have thought of this himself. Sonic spin dashes, and go figure, it's a decoy. Sonic says another, reminding me that he's already had decoy Robotniks in a boss fight in Sonic 2, not to mention Sonic Heroes, but that was Metal Sonic's idea. This is the first time it was Eggman's idea to have a decoy Eggman in a mecha. Amy says they invited her to go to the Starfall Islands to help find emeralds. It's stilted because she shouldn't need to ask for clarification on whether they asked her to do the most uncreative, lazy mission a Sonic character could have. They do it all the time, so why would she have trouble remembering? Tails says a long-lost civilization once lived there. Practically everywhere on the planet has had people living there in ancient times. But for some reason indeed, the Emeralds started gathering there, because I guess that ancient civilization is just that amazing. Does the game explain why they started gathering there, and what took so long? It's not like the civilization's ruins magically appeared out of nowhere, right? Amy states the obvious about Eggman. Sonic's excited for adventure, and then we see Eggman's machine on the first of those islands. And he's told that his machines were sent to them, so that he can start surveying the islands to try to get the long-lost technology of the ancients. First off, how did he find out about it? No mention of Gerald's diaries? I mean, that would have been the most minimalistic of effort. Second, why doesn't he assume that he could make anything they could and better, since he's an arrogant, do-anything genius? He must have no idea what exact technology they have, and is just assuming it's something amazing he never made. I get trying to save himself the effort of making tech himself, but this is a lot of effort, and you'd really think his technology would be better than ancient technology when it's already advanced for the present day. So it would make more sense for Eggman to look for a magical artifact instead, like a way to give himself magical powers. Orbot asks Eggman if he's enjoying his trip to the island, and somehow Eggman finds an excuse to get mad at him for that polite question, and says it's a business trip, even though he doesn't own a business or have a job at all. Orbot tells him what Sonic did, and Eggman shouts about it in surprise. When he made that, because he foresaw the possibility of Sonic getting there, I guess he really didn't want it to be found so soon, and he's not ready. I love that Cubot was playing a board game as Orbot lies that he had technical difficulties in reaching Eggman about this. But how's there a board game with motobug pieces? Only Eggman would make that and he hates fun. Or is Orbot able to make that? Eggman wants to carry out his plans faster and gets told the AI integration and system stress tests are untested and so he shouldn't rush this. And he says his coding's perfect and tells the AI to become downloaded already to protect him to attack the cybersecurity of the Ancients. I'm just barely interested in the Ancients because I already saw the Echidnas have advanced ancient technology in two comics, and at least they were given personality and identity 
Well, I know almost nothing about the ancients. I vaguely remember they were something to do with chaos. I'm just thinking of Chaos Zero when I think of the ancients, so there's nothing unique there. So this issue by Ian Flynn was about Sonic and his friends going on another quest to look for emeralds and helping Amy fight yet another mecha with barely any more effort than usual. Tails using a wrench loose in a bolt from it was new, and Amy thought to attack the legs that it had for no reason. The fight seems to last too long with barely any tension because it's an uncreative fight with nothing but characters with plot armor. At least it was new that Eggman had the idea to have a decoy in a mecha with pre-recorded battle banter for no reason. That he must have chosen to reuse because they were his favorite lines. There's new ideas here, but it still looks boring because it's got a premise of the same old thing. I like Sonic comics because they usually don't have this kind of plot, where they look for emeralds again, or fight a mecha or robot again. It was a nice surprise that there was anything creative at all in this. And it gets a lot more boring when Eggman's scene happens. Basically all that happens is that he finds out what Sonic did and talks too much. He says he'll do something too fast, but we should have seen it happen instead of the story ending. At least I never saw a Cubot with a board game before, but that was wasted because I know nothing about it or why it exists when it has Motobug board pieces. When Eggman's pretty insistent that this isn't a vacation, tropical island or not, so it doesn't seem like he's fun-loving enough to make a board game. This issue was boring with the most generic Sonic plot points ever, and the new ideas are the only things keeping it from being pointless. But they're probably not memorable because they're all tied up in either Sonic fighting a mecha yet again, or Cubot being a humanized robot, which happens all the time. I'm sure the game already tells you why Amy came to Starfall Island, so it doesn't matter that we got to see her say why she went there, and nobody got hurt by the mecha that did nothing new, so it barely added anything that they had to fight it. It's not like a civilian was there to get hurt.